Alright lads and lasses, check this out. Today I've got another one of the Lake District's hidden gems. We're out in Wasdale and this is Nether Beck. So to get straight into it, we'll use the postcode for Wasdale Head. And around two thirds of the way up Wastwater, you'll come across a little bridge and this is exactly where you need to find a spot to park. We found a parking space around 20 metres across the other side of the bridge. There is only two or three spaces for cars here. Parking here is very limited. Once you cross over the Netherbeck Bridge, as you can see there's a parking space here but someone else was already parked there. You want to make your way through this gate here. Continue along this path through the bracken for a short while. Yeah. As you can see, this is a very, very boggy trail. So make sure you come prepared in some proper boots. Waterproof ones at that. Right, I'm gonna have a try up this way. Yeah, there's a higher trail to the left hand side of the normal trail. Now this trail on the left hand side was the one you wanted to take. This was our first time here and we went down to the right and it ended up getting pretty dicey. We ended up going through the river and we had to make our way back to the original left hand trail. Light. After around 15 minutes of walking you should see this beauty on your right hand side. Once you see this you're basically here but if you walk just 30 seconds past it up here you've got these beautiful four waterfalls that we chose to visit first and we'll make our way back down later. The place was so pretty I just couldn't resist having a lovely dip in this natural wonder. After that nice little refresh, we're headed back down the trail to Netherbeck's main waterfall in Plunge Pool Paradise. And if you know me and my content by now, you know I've got no choice but to jump in and test the water. One thing I recommend you always do is what I'm doing here, have a good water safety check, get your eyes in, have a good look around, make sure you can't see any debris and start off with a small foot first jump to make sure 100% the area you're jumping in is going to be safe. This place is pretty deep all around, although there are a few rocks sticking out here and there that you have to look out for. I wouldn't recommend swimming near the waterfall for the currents, but this little part of the right is like a nice little whirlpool and it's only around six foot deep, so it's pretty safe. There's a little glimpse below the water so you can see what lies beneath.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful. Do you a favour and hit that like button. Share it to any of your friends so you can plan your next adventure together. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And check out my TikTok and Instagram account, where I share these guides, usually two to three months before I get it on YouTube, and where I also make most of my content.